want to tell you a story about something that may not sound sexy, but is in truth extremely critical to national security and therefore super important, our supply chains. The component parts that go into all the most important things we make. Let me walk you through it. Over the last 30 years, the U.S. has outsourced a lot of the supplies that are in our most important products. Things like microchips and the rare earth minerals that make those microchips. They're in everything from cars to iPhones to our military equipment. It was cheaper and easier to get it and make it in other countries, China in particular. Now we're facing the consequences. Nowhere is this more clear than with vehicle production, especially electric vehicles. China is the number one producer of electric cars with the US really lagging behind. Companies like GM and Ford want to build more and more all electric trucks and cars, like the recently announced Ford F-150 Lightning. But we've seen how the shortage of a 14 cent microchip has halted the production of cars and trucks and plants across the country like the Grand River GM facility in Lansing. Our dependence on foreign suppliers half a world away has the potential to keep us from being the leader in electric vehicle manufacturing that I know we can be. We find ourselves, therefore, at this really critical moment, and we have to decide whether we're gonna surge ahead. We're at what we call our moonshot moment. Remember the space race? It's a good analogy. Sputnik, the Soviet's creation and world's first satellite beat us to space, but JFK wasn't having it. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We jumped into action. But what if we weren't able to answer JFK's call? Picture Neil Armstrong stuck on the launch pad because Apollo 11 is missing a critical part that the US had to get from China. Thankfully, that's not the way it happened. The Soviet Union may have gotten to space first, but we doubled down, threw our American ingenuity behind the mission and hit the gas on American manufacturing and American science. What did that moon landing depend on? Rocket engines from California, computers from Alabama, and pumps and hoses from Michigan. Back then, our supply chains were strong. They were American, but that's not the reality of American manufacturing today. I want the US to be ready for our next moonshot. We have an opportunity to invest in the resilient supply chain and manufacturing infrastructure we need to surge ahead, and in particular, to become the world's leader in making electric vehicles. That's why I'm obsessed with the issue of supply chains. I believe American manufacturing is quite literally a matter of national security. Because if our supply chains aren't resilient and can't weather disruptions, these kinds of shortages will continue to hold us back. I launched a bipartisan task force earlier this year to write legislation that will strengthen and protect our national security supply chains. Over the coming months, we'll put forward legislation to help take this challenge head on. So even though supply chains might not seem like the sexiest topic, it's critically important. Our next moonshot is here and I'm not gonna let us miss it.